Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Staten Mad of Varos Gaming, with a C3 inspired commentary regarding the first round topic inspiration and what inspired me to do YouTube. Now, I'm going to be honest, there wasn't really much inspiration there to do YouTube, it was more of a spontaneous decision after being in the galleries and seeing a £10 capture card. But there's a probably good chance I wouldn't be doing YouTube if I already hadn't been inspired to do other things, such as my writing. Like, Anthony Horowitz is one of my favourite authors of all time. In many ways, he got me into writing. It made me want to express myself more because I could finally work towards something. And that something is to get published, to eventually have a book that sells. And I have been working on many projects since and I am hopefully close to getting one done. So how does this tie to YouTube? Well, you have to be prepared to think outside the box. You need to sometimes step away from what other people do and do something different, like I imagined Mr. Mad. Now, don't get me wrong, the whole voice altering thing has been done, but Mad is different. He's more of my manic side. He's very much a character that wants to somehow achieve world domination. I haven't really done much with him, but I do plan on maybe throwing him in there every now and then. <coughs> I will say, inspiration is a very hard thing to come by, and for some people it can just come like that. But for others it takes time. I love it when you act like that. And especially with YouTube, it's one thing to be inspired to do it, but it's another thing to constantly improve on what you do. And look, one of the few ways you can improve is by receiving criticism from others. Now, not all criticism is going to be good, and not all will be bad. Some of it will be hateful, but you have to sift through that and pick out what you think could help you improve upon what you already do. But that doesn't mean you're going to expect success, because in many cases, the only way to get success is to first fail and learn from your mistakes, because that's one of the few ways to improve. As a writer, I put my work to a group and we critique each other, we would say what could be improved, is this a grammatical error, is this style based, and that's what a lot of YouTube is, everyone has their own distinct style, even if it is inspired or influenced by someone else, they always, they should always have their own blend, and that's what makes them who they are. The overall point of this is that you should not be afraid of criticism, you shouldn't necessarily be defensive of your work, as my lecturer suggested to just stay quiet, let people say what they have to say. You don't necessarily have to agree with it, after all, that is their critical opinion. And notice I say critical opinion because there's a massive difference between having an opinion and being critical. Having an opinion is generally a statement of expression, whereas being critical is to suggest how to improve. Maybe that's just me, you might disagree there. To sum up, inspiration is not an easy thing to come by. But when you get it, you should grab onto it because you should never let that go because as soon as you let that go, it's gone and there is no way of turning back the clock. But that doesn't mean you should be stuck in the same state of mind constantly. You should be always thinking of how I can do better. And whilst I myself, I'm not perfect, I'm probably messed up God knows how much stuff in this commentary and I will have to edit it out, but I am constantly working on improving how I speak because I am quite a fast talker and I slur words. That's just who I am, and some people are like that, some people talk fast, some people talk slow. We are all very different and very unique in that sense. So maybe instead of, if you see a YouTuber you don't like, and that's on a personal level in some form, don't necessarily post something that will be inflammatory. Instead, be critical, because the only way YouTube, in my opinion, is going to get any better is if people put aside these personal vendettas against each other and just be critical. Get into that critical mind because as a writer, it's something I have to do most days. And I admit, I do get worried about how my work will be received. I don't know what they're gonna say. I posted on a forum once, an opening to the Wandering Blade story, which I've been working on. And I was thinking it was gonna get shredded, it was torn apart, but people were generally very positive in their feedback. Like, a lot of people said, oh, there's some grammatical errors, but overall, the style was quite distinct. It was new, it was different, it was me. It wasn't like anything else they'd read previously. And that's what you should strive for. Always do better than what you're doing because that's the only way you're gonna grow. It's the only way you're gonna stand out from the crowd. You might disagree. You might have your own route. You might have your own path. But at some point, paths cross and you have to make a decision. But never give up. Never say die and never surrender. I've been starting out of virals gaming. I'm Mr. Mad 2. Thanks for watching, guys.
Your legend is being forged in fire, Guardian. 